Yo, what's up? It's your boy Pac Jr. This is the most important thing people want. Gameplay updates. Everybody wants to know how will the game play within the game. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I think there's a lot of things that we need to hit on. One thing that was hit on a lot was pass rush. So just so that you guys can get a chance to hear it yourself, um, there is no change whatsoever to pass rush. I think a lot of people when they played the Pro Bowl were overwhelmed. I think you know one of the very first videos I watched on Madden 20 was uh, on the beta was Gut Fox, and he was like, "Dude, the pass rush is crazy." To be honest with you that was in the pro bowl i think he made he saw it he made a quick video about it but as you played on it really wasn't that big of an issue so pass rush did not get changed but what did get changed was the tight end mechanics and there's actually a second blocking mechanic that is yet to be released so to show you real quick this is pretty the big uh thing for you to know about pass rush is this right here blue routes for tight ends so basically anytime you have a tight end in an inline position that's either in a three-point stance or in a wing position and he has a blue route or you hot route him to a blue route he will now be in pass block until you hit his receiver icon button which will then release him into his route uh, at whatever time you want so you know exactly when he's going to go the cool thing about that is based on his awareness rating that's how responsive he'll be to the button press so if he's okay. very low in awareness he might be delayed when okay. you hit the button so he'll be a little late and if he's really high awareness he'll be really responsive so as you heard there guys basically the new Titan mechanic is that when you put him on a blue route, a delay route, it's going to block. And then when you click him, he will release out, which I think is going to be huge. The reason why is because contained blitzes are definitely back in Madden 19. This might be a way to counter that, to block him momentarily. So he picks up the contain, you let him go, then your lineman can pick him up or your halfback. But contained blitzes were a true thing in the beta. So just so you know, pass rush was not changed. Passing animation, guys, were not changed either. Pass leads did get fixed but just know there was no changes there man coverage man coverage did get changed so in man coverage in the beta people felt like the corners played really really well well the corners still play really good in the beta for man coverage and they're still going to play really good in man in 20 but the two things that will counteract man coverage are post routes and corner routes so the cut moves are more effective for players who have the skill for that so just so you know man coverage will be good in man in 20 but if you do a post route that's going to get wide open every time and if you do a corner route that's going to get open every time so that was a quick update on basically man coverage zones did not change zones did not change huge because clouds played so bad in the beta you could get eight nine yards on clouds and you can give up you know 30 yards when they came down so since zones did not change expect tight compression sets to be way more popular you're going to be able to flood clouds really easily this year so if you're going to run a cloud you're going to have to blitz like crazy or you're going to be in some cover three ish look so expect cover three to maybe end up being some level of meta early on as we try to figure out how to deal with those clouds because clouds played really bad way worse than 19. so in the beta guys tom brady had unlimited amount of conductor uh an unlimited amount of hot routes where he could put it could literally it was like the conductor glitch this year you could literally put an infinite amount of hot routes on the field instantaneously and it was really hard defensively to try to counteract that well if you look here that was fixed uh yeah so in the beta tom brady's conductor ability uh was allowing him to use unlimited hot routes in pre-play rather than just what it's supposed to be which is standard two times faster got it than the other quarterbacks um so we caught that and that is fixed as well okay but other than that tom brady still is pretty dang fun to play cool so as you can see there guys uh tom brady did get fixed he'll have two like just like normal conductor he's not going to have an unlimited amount he's still very effective in the game obviously through all the hot routes that he can do and he gives it to everybody but the conductor glitch is fixed for madden 20 um, just some side notes the next six seven minutes was talking about fumbles and simulation fumbles are decreased significantly due to injuries right if you play simulation and franchise you can get injured so that was decreased in competitive you don't get hurt so fumbles there was no change which is huge because there was a lot of fumbles when you were in the pocket that happened in Madden 20 so we'll see how that plays out um, also know that this year they're going to be more conservative on fixing uh, anything that comes up in the game this year they try to fix contains they try to fix this and that and it made the game worse so i think this year they're going to be very conservative on when they decide to do those type of changes the last thing i want to hit on for you guys before we get to the ncs announcement was stiff arm the one that will be in for launches there will be a stamina penalty associated with stiff arm 
which was not in there in the beta. So if you're using stiff arm, especially if you're like spamming stiff arm, you're gonna start draining stamina. And even if you do one successful stiff arm, there still will be a stamina cost for that. So that should help balance it. And then um, we do have some other work, some other tuning planned for an early title update with stiff arm. Uh, that should make it a little bit more intuitive okay. to use. So. Uh, we are aware of that, but it's going to... What they did to Stiff Arm, guys, was there is a stamina penalty for Stiff Arm. So Stiff Arm looks to be effective, but if you continually use the Stiff Arm penalty, your player will get way more tired. So if you're doing... So if you play Salary Cap, that's significant because if you're Stiff Arming half the time, your player might get tired half the time, even though it's really effective. So do know there seems to be a, a stamina penalty for Stiff Arm. I'm curious to see if that plays out for any kind of jukes, spins, any kind of juke moves. So I'll have to ask Clint that if there will be a stamina penalty for any kind of ball carrier move and not just stiff arm and then they will be tuning stiff arm because in the beta girly and stretch plays and stiff arm was absolutely nuts so last but not least guys let me show you a quick snippet on mcs news just so you guys know 726 is when they plan to release mcs news ish if you can check out here if you're a competitive player that is when you want to stay tuned that is when they're going to give you information on that i'm out of here guys take care capish